While we see a lot of types of severe weather here in New Hampshire, more than half of all of our weather damage comes from flooding, and no two floods are exactly the same. 1996 was a very wet year, a very snowy winter followed by spring flooding, then the remnants of Bertha and Eduard set the water table very high. Then a building October nor'easter took the remnants of Hurricane Lily and delivered over 12 inches of rain in just two days. Flooding not seen in New Hampshire in over 50 years. Six counties were declared federal disaster areas and dozens of roads were damaged. And while flash flooding can happen anytime, one of the more memorable flood flash flood combinations was the deadly Alstead flood in 2005. Enhanced by the remnants of Tropical Storm Tammy, over a foot of rain fell in some southwestern communities. Four people died and damage was estimated at nearly $16 million. Just 10 months later, a slow moving coastal storm produced nearly a foot of rain from the seacoast and Merrimack Valley up through the lakes region. What most call the Mother's Day flood. Over 5,000 New Hampshire homes and businesses were affected, 60 roads completely washed out, water rescues, and at its height, the Merrimack River saw its third highest crest ever recorded. This month marks 15 years since that flood. The highest crest of this Merrimack River, the flood of 1936.